we are playing again with Urza's AI, except for this time, I thought that I could follow in the footsteps of some other creators and uh, take some Pokemon and using Urza's AI advanced options, turn them into magic cards. Uh, Urza's AI generates um, magic cards from prompts, so you can put the name of something in there and it'll create something for you. Or you can use the advanced options, which we're using today. Put the name of the card, put its mana cost, the type of card, and the creature type. And then if you want it to be more stable or more creative, and then it will generate a card based on those um, conditions. So we put Charizard. He's going to be six mana, and he's a dragon lizard. And this is what it came out with. 4 red red Charizard is a 3 4 of reach. I'm surprised it doesn't have flying because it's a dragon and it has reach instead. I, I don't I don't I don't know. <laughs> and then it says sacrifice Charizard draw a card. Obviously this card's not very good. Uh, very overcosted for the uh, for the power toughness and the effect. But it's really interesting design. You never really see a dragon of reach cuz they all have flying and uh, the idea of sacrificing the dragon to draw card that could be interesting if it was on like a bigger body a better body but right now it's just a mediocre card uh the green slime thing carries many a magical visitor in its enchanted shell i what <laughs> has no idea shell what does that have to do with this so you see we put the parameters in and it created this charizard card so we're going to do the same thing with some of my other favorite pokemon um before we do the next one just letting you know if you like the video please press the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel we really need to get some more sub subscribers so we can eventually be monetized on youtube uh but yeah um <laughs> Please do that for me and let me know what you think about these Pokemon generated from AI. Anyways, next we're doing Blastoise. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in and I'll be right back. Blastoise, six mana, creature, turtle, haste. That does look like Blastoise though. Its face is really messed up. I do not like this at all. Um, <laughs> it, look, it, look, it vaguely resembles it. You see the shell. You see the blue. Uh, six mana for a four four haste. It's so it's okay. I mean, it's in blue, which is weird because blue doesn't really get many haste creatures. Uh, but this doesn't feel like a turtle at all. And there's no flavor text, which makes me sad. It's just it's just overall just a just a letdown with this. Um. Yeah, I, I do I do think it's interesting that they gave Blastoise haste. Turtles usually in magic are slow, so it would not make sense for it to get haste, but oh well. Alright, next we have Venusaur, and it's four green green creature plant dinosaur. Uh, and the art does not look like Venusaur at all. It looks like a plant dinosaur, which is really cool. It looks like a cool plant dinosaur thing, but it does not look like Venusaur. So I think that's really interesting. It has haste. Whenever it attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn for a 3-3. Three, three. The power and toughness isn't that good. It is six mana for a 3-3. Three, three. However, the ability that whenever it attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. If you're playing a lot of tokens, if you're playing um, cards like Avenger of Zendikar, or if you're playing cards like uh, Colony Garden, or any sort of uh, token generator, you can just play this and all those tokens get plus one plus one and this happens whenever it attacks every time it attacks it reminds me of crater hoof behemoth except crater hoof behemoth only does it when it enters this does it every single turn when it attacks so i i actually think this is a pretty good card i wish it had better power and toughness but i think the ability is pretty strong and it has haste so you get that ability right away so yeah i like this card uh, doesn't remind me much of Venusaur, but it's a really nice uh, green dinosaur. This is actually a really interesting card. I actually really like this card a lot. Um, it's Pikachu, two and a white for one, two creature, elemental mouse. The art's kind of interesting. Other mice, other mice you control get plus one, plus one. I don't know. It should say other mouse creatures because... You know, mice isn't a creature type, so 
but it's a plural, I guess. It would say if it was real, it would say like other mouse creatures you control get plus one plus one. Other Pokemon you don't control get plus one plus one. I love that. I don't know why I like that. I just like the idea of having like a Pokemon subtype in Magic and then them not controlling get plus one plus one. Uh, but this is really interesting. One in a white, tap it. You may have Pikachu fight target creature or Pokemon. So are Pokemon not creatures? Are Pokemon like something different? I don't know. This is a really interesting card. And it really makes you think, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love the idea of mice getting plus one plus one, though. Your ma mouse tribal deck needs something. Uh, no man was born with roaring enough voice to startle a full, fully loaded quail. What does that even mean? I love this card. This is great. Great design. Good job. Yeah, it should say, maybe if it was Pokemon creature, Elemental Mouse, other Pokemon, you. but then it says target creature or Pokemon. You I don't know what, po what it thinks Pokemon are in Magic, but whatever. I also like that the art is like very ethereal too, where you just have Pikachu heads. That's really cool. Alright, green and a black. These me these cats look really weird. I know the AI does not know how to draw cats. Meowth, green and a black creature, cat rogue. Other cat creatures you control get plus one and plus plus one and have first strike. I like this, it's a cat lord, but it also gets first strike because rogues and magic. Um I guess first strike is kind of like thematically uh fit in with rogues because rogues you gotta be fast, you gotta be sneaky. So I, I like this. His magical pet. His magical pet bears the dignity of the game's leading literary titan. Sure. I'm sure it does. I mean, Meowth can speak. So, I mean, that makes sense, right? All right. So for Eevee, um, I thought Eevee looks like a cat. So it's a cat. But it's also a shapeshifter because it evolves into multiple creatures based on the um, the friendness level or the stone. So I thought about making it a shapeshifter because it kind of does shapeshift in Pokemon in a weird way. Uh, so it's a 2 mana 2-2 two, two cat shapeshifter. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have not spent mana to cast a spell this turn, which I mean... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to cast mana for spells during your upkeep unless it's an instant spell. Uh, transform Eevee into a 5-4 white and blue fairy. This card is absolutely, absolutely broken. Oh my god. Just because um, <laughs> it's just a 2 mana 5-4 uh, white and blue fairy. Oh my god. That's like insane. I don't know if it fits with what Eevee does, but <laughs> the fact is a two, just a two mana five four. That's pretty darn good. It has to survive a turn, so like you play it and then your opponent can't kill it. Uh, so if it survives a whole turn cycle from your opponent, it turns into a five four, which I mean it's not uh, a two mana five four. You have to wait a turn for it, but it's still pretty strong if you're playing one v one magic. Uh, a two mana five four is pretty good. It was forbidden to flit, but no one ever flitted. What what does what does that even mean? Please tell me what a flit is, because uh, I am not sure. And I'm scared to look it up. All right, Togepi um, is one white for one one creature egg. Uh, you pay one white mana. You sacrifice Togepi. It deals one damage to target creature or player. So you crack Togepi, you crack the egg, and it deals one damage to a creature or player. I, I just think that's interesting. I don't know if that's in white color, White's color pie. If it makes sense if it was a red card because red deals damage to creatures or players. White really doesn't get to do that. But I just think this is an interesting card. Um, you get to pay mana for it, though. So I don't know how good that is. Uh, but... It's okay. Being able to deal a damage with your 1-1, you can attack with it, and then you can sacrifice it to deal damage. It's actually pretty strong. Uh, Mog Fanatic is a really good card for that um, reason. Uh, it's Flavor Text said, to start each hatching, put a scrap of sparring silk on the dirt. What? What is a sparring silk? I have no idea what that is. 
All right, but that's Togepi, I guess. And we have a three mana Frog Elemental. Mudkip can't block. Well, that's sad. It's that sad he can't block and he's a 2 1. Uh, pretty underwhelming. Uh, the bitterness of tears, the mouth of slaver. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the bitterness of tears at the mouth of a slaver is matched only by the purest source of sucker. I don't I don't understand why what it's making this from or why it's making it but I sh I think it should stop. <laughs> Blaziken. I do I love this I love this art for Blaziken, don't you? Uh, it kind of looks like Blaziken with like the some of the colors and like the the hair. Uh 3 red red. I thought bird human made the most sense because it's kind of a anthropomorphic uh Pokémon and it's a bird. Um, so I thought that would make the most sense. Five mana for a three three. It gets plus one plus one as long as you control three or more tap creatures. So I guess um if you attack with three creatures, so if you attack with Blaziken and two other creatures, Blaziken becomes a uh a four four, which is uh not that great. A five mana four four, pretty bad. That requires you to attack of three creatures. Not a not a great card. Uh, we're gonna try again. Uh, I think Bird Human makes the most sense for Blaziken. Um, let's put creativity all the way on. All right, five mana, five three flying. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's not bad. Uh, Blaziken can Blaziken fly in Pokemon? I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, uh, five mana, five three flying is not bad. Not that interesting either. But I mean, it makes sense. It's um, it would it, if I was designing a card based on Blaziken, I'd make it uh, five mana, five three flying haste because that represents the red. And the fire type, while well, flying is represents the fact that he's a a big chicken. Uh, this art, man, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Not as good as the other one, though. Now we have Gardevoir, and I thought being a blue white creature makes the most sense, uh, because she is a fairy wizard. I mean, she's literally fairy type, psychic type, fairy wizard made the most sense for me. Um. <laughs> it's a five mana three three with flying. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's not the best, but I mean, flying. You get a three three flyer, and you can play pay blue to regenerate Gardevoir. That's really strong, actually. Blue really doesn't get that um, in Magic. Usually, that's a black or a green ability. So being on blue creature is actually pretty good. But it's a decent card. It's like. A good card in draft but otherwise it's pretty bad uh, I love this flavor text though I am the guard of war the most powerful of all the fairies <laughs> guard of war fairy wizard <laughs> Yes, I, I think Gardevoir would say that. Yeah, that's that's a real line from Pokemon right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the art kind of resembles Gardevoir, but, like, she's green here, which I, I, don't, I don't like that. We're going to move on to the next one. Now we have Rayquaza, and I thought Rayquaza being all five colors kind of made sense because it's uh, kind of like the Lord over the sea. Uh, which makes sense for blue, white, and the ground, which makes sense for red, black, green. It kind of controls both Kyogre and and uh, Grudon. Uh, creature, Dragon, Serpent, Flying, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, landfall. Whenever Rayquaza becomes blocked by a land. <laughs> okay. That's, that's not what landfall means, but whenever it becomes blocked by a land. Okay. Target opponent may have all lands they control. Become part of the first opponent's graveyard. I think this is broken. We're going to try again to make something. We have a, a Wooberg flying 4-4. Four, four. I think it's uncommon. Uh, blue, black, red. Return Rayquaza to its owner's hand. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's not, it's not good. It's not bad either. Like, you can return it to your hand if it's about to get killed, and it's a 4-4. Four, four. 
It's, it's, it's something, I guess. Uh, in the days of their birth, the centuries of the sea serpent fled to the underworld, where they learned the way of its legends and how to interpret their voices. Pretty good flavor text right there. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to refresh on this one. Um, this is like really good AI generated art and it kind of looks like Deoxys, but also like kind of doesn't look De like Deoxys at the same time. Uh, because like you can tell what parts of it look like Deoxys, but then you can tell like it just vaguely doesn't. Creature, I thought one of every color creature alien virus. Uh, makes sense. Uh, this one, it just, just a five Wooberg flying three two. I'm gonna see if it gives us something better. All right, and this art is also pretty good. Um, I like <laughs> that it used the Deoxys, I guess it found, and made this art. It kind of resembles it with like the red and the blue. But it doesn't at the same time. And it also has a gun for some reason. Uh, one of every color. Creature. Alien. Virus. to one, two. That's very bad power and toughness. Flying. One of every color. Deoxys deals one damage to target creature. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, honestly. Uh, just, a, just, a, just a trash card all around. <laughs> Uh, creature penguin whenever Empoleon deals combat damage to a player untap another target penguin I I just I just like that this card cares about you having other penguins cuz penguins there's not there's I don't think there's any penguins in magic so Empoleon it would be the first penguin I think that's kind of cool uh, and it says tap one or more target penguins you control to do what what why would you do that is that when it deals combat damage, you untap and then just tap it? Or is that just like the activated uh, cost of like an ability? I don't know, but I, I like that it's a penguin and that it cares about other penguins. That's kind of cool. I think we actually, I think we made another, uh, I think, I think we made another broken card, Infernape. Two red red creature, elemental monkey. Uh, that makes sense for Infernape, right? It's an elemental, and it does fire, and it's a monkey, right? It's a 4-3 with death touch. Okay. At the beginning of each upkeep, you may return a permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's just insane. For 4 mana, it does have to survive a turn, but you get to return a permanent card from your graveyard to to the battlefield just any permanent right any creature any land any enchantment or artifact that's in your graveyard or just return it to the battlefield doesn't matter how much it costs this card i think is uh is pretty broken i like it though i would definitely play it uh it can make some for some really interesting um reanimation strategies in like legacy or other formats a uh, card like this would i don't know how much in flavor it is because that's more of a black ability but it, it's still really cool i like this card this is not the one we're going to stick with. Uh, I just love the flavor text of this. Two black black, three three. I thought fox shapeshifter made sense. It's a fox. Uh, at least it looks like a fox. And then Zorark shapeshifts. It transforms the other thing. I love this flavor text. If Zorark had existed at all, there would be no limits to her genius. Great. I, I like that. We're going we're gonna to make another one though. Great. There's some interesting one there. Four mana Zorark Fox Shapeshifter. Fox spells you cast cost one less to cast. Let's go Fox Tribal. It's a 3-2. <laughs> Doesn't do anything with the Shapeshifter. Uh, but it, it does stuff with the Fox. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, it just changed. Oh, no, it, it didn't. Well, Fox spells you cast cost one less to cast. Those of visions of King Pataris Crest understand how the wolf spawns, and only those in their dreams will dare to follow the red tide into the deep black. Very spooky flavor text. Uh, interesting stuff. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Let me know what your favorite one of the one we created is below. Mine, I really like the Pikachu one and the Infernape one. Those are pretty cool. The Eevee one was pretty broken. Uh, a lot of them were pretty underwhelming, honestly, but let me know what you think below. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll hang out with you next time. We might do this again. Let me know if you want to see any Pokemon turned into AI below. Anyways, thanks for watching.
拜拜。